Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Um, we are T minus two days away from training camp in California. Uh, so this weekend we are planning to pack and we wanted to let you guys know our tips, tricks, just stuff that we do mm -hmm. uh, preparing for like a three week training camp. It's quite the process. Yeah. It's not as easy as some might think. There's many different things involved. So we hope that you find this video helpful. Um, and if you have any of your own tricks, feel free to comment below and share with the people. So, the very first thing that we like to do is make sure that all of our laundry is done because the worst thing you can do that we've found is starting to pack without having everything you're working with right in front of you, ready to go in your closet. Otherwise, things end up getting left behind, you forget certain things. So, make sure your laundry is done in enough advance so that like you're not forced to start packing the night before. The second thing that we like to do is like make a list. So, this includes like a packing list. Um, how many days are we going for? How many things do we need? And then also a to-do list. So what we want to get done before we leave. We also just like to like lay everything out in front of us. So when we're packing, we don't just pack it right into our suitcases, like mm -hmm. closet to suitcase. We put it on the bed first, lay it all out so you can see what you have if you're missing anything. So this might all sound a little bit extra. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, just pack already. Like it's not that big of a deal. but Things get really complicated, first of all, as a decathlete. Second of all, when you're both athletes at a high level, you're kind of particular. You have certain things that you need that will really help your um, performance and your time down there. And, you know, we're going on this trip for a reason. We have very large goals for the trip and we can't afford to leave even the littlest things behind because we need them. And it's not so much about having those things, like if we forgot for example, our cupping set, it wouldn't be the end of the world, there's ways around it, but it's more of like a comfort thing. Like we wanna know that we are fully prepared and we have everything we need to crush this trip. Let's go. All right, the fun has begun. So after we have made a list and kind of determined what we need to bring, how much of everything we need to bring, this ensues. So the thing is, um, our Airbnbs have washing machines, so really we could go with like four of every um, type of clothing and it'd still be enough, but you know, when you're competing and stuff, you want to have options, you want to feel confident, so you know, sometimes you get a little carried away with how much clothes you bring, but oh, the last time we used this bag, we went to Jamaica. You're leaving? So something that's kind of difficult for me to comprehend right now is that I don't really need to pack like sweaters and sweatpants and like many pairs of long tights and it's very probable that when I go to the track before I've even warmed up I'm just going to be in shorts and a t-shirt. So I'm kind of struggling with that and not getting out of control with packing like outer layers and warmer stuff. I'm realizing how many um, sleeveless hooded things I own as well as how many um, camo things I own. But anyways, um, spandex, t-shirts and tanks, Comfy clothes for chilling around the rental, sweatpants and rain pants, and normal clothes. Another problem that I have is I always pack way too many um, normal clothes, NARP clothes, and just end up being in shorts or sweatpants the whole time. So I'm really trying to limit how many nice articles of clothing I bring. So yeah, we're basically just in the clothes phase right now. Um, nothing too stressful. Again, we will have a washing machine, so it's pretty easy. So next we start to load more like objects. Once we have the clothes, we have what we definitely need. But then we start to look at little things that will make our lives easier away at these training camps. We kind of have to pack really strategically and put stuff between bags because obviously Taylor's clothes weigh more than mine and he brings like a thousand pairs of shoes. Um, so all of his stuff can't go in his bag. So yeah, once the clothes are loaded, we start fitting all these objects in like a, like a puzzle, like Tetris, if you will. The other day on my Instagram, I put a call out to everybody for suggestions of what is your must-have item to pack when you're going away for a training camp. 
Most of the suggestions are things that we were going to pack anyways, um, so they were good reminders. Um, but I did want to point out one in particular. So this suggestion came from Noelle Montcalm, a Canadian 400 meter hurdler, as well as Leisha Brown, a Canadian 400 meter runner. They both suggested bringing um, a small amount of various spices. Spices are pretty expensive and obviously we're not going to go through a whole thing of them while we're down there So this is really good thinking. We're definitely going to do that But not just yet because we still need to eat tonight, so we can't pack anything. So um, I mentioned this on Instagram We're gonna bring these takeout Tupperwares this way if we leave them there, it's not the end of the world. They were free technically um, I find that Airbnbs don't really have very many um, Tupperwares and ways to store food so this will hopefully make it a little bit easier to meal prep and have leftovers. Uh, Jillian Weir, a Canadian hammer thrower, suggested cards. So we always make sure we bring lots of games and stuff. So we have catchphrase, Dutch Blitz. Dutch Blitz is pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys have ever played it before. Um, we're gonna bring our Nintendo Switch. So we have Mario Kart and uh, Mario Party. It it's, like, seems like not very important things. Um, obviously we're going down there to train, but we're only training for like three hours out of the day, so it's nice to have things to stay occupied. Cupping set, as I mentioned earlier, um, we do have a physiotherapist, uh, Juliana, coming with us for the last week that we're there during the decathlon and the last competition, uh, but for the first two weeks we wanted to make sure we still have um, what we needed, so we're bringing these. Um, Especially important as a jumper, always bring your own measuring tape because you never know at these facilities um, where to find one, if you're going to have access to one, so that's very important. A GPS because we're not going to have a phone plan while we're down there, um, so we want to make sure we're able to navigate our way through LA and whatnot. So a few other things that we're going to be bringing that we can't pack just yet because we still need to use tomorrow. Um, lifting straps, um, a few physio related things that we need, such as um, bands. I need to grab that from the shed. Uh, chalk, do you need to bring chalk or will you just use straps? Okay, no chalk, but maybe some sidewalk chalk because you never know. The final step will be, of course, not forgetting our toiletry bags. That is a disaster, especially when you wear contacts. It's been done before. Taylor loading the poles onto the car. That's gonna be fun. So another thing that we like to do uh, heading into a training camp is kind of clean the house and like organize throw out some stuff that we don't need uh, So we kind of use it as like a spring cleaning you could say Because um, yeah, everybody likes to come back to a clean house um, everything organized and such so we kind of like go through our pantries and see What's bad and we kind of get rid of it and like, go through the fridge just tidy up vacuum get everything pristine so that makes going away for an extended period of time a little bit more stressful is when you have a child that needs to be cared for. We're very fortunate in that Taylor's mom is actually going to come stay at our house with Chuck um, for the first two weeks that we're gone and then the third week she's actually joining us in California so for that last week he does have to go to the kennel. Um, but yeah we're really lucky that she's coming for the first two weeks because he's not really a dog where we can just like leave with a friend. I don't want to say he's high maintenance, but he does have some quirks to him that make him a little bit more difficult to care for. So anyways, I'm currently writing out the list of 
um, things um, for Mary, Taylor's mom, to keep in mind when she's here, such as um, watch for food and dead animals on the road when you're walking him because he will find it and he will eat it and it's really hard to pry out of his mouth once it's in there. Okay, so next thing on the list is like camera gear tech stuff. So like our computer needs to go in a bag. Um, Caroline usually doesn't bring hers, but I use my computer to edit all the vlogs. So the computer needs to go in my bag, all the chargers. Um, the camera goes in my backpack and the lens that stays on it and all this stuff stays on it. Um, and then I'm bringing one other lens. I'm just gonna bring the 70 to 200 in there. Got a couple like filters, uh, batteries, extra batteries. And that's about it. And then we're, we're good to go. And it's Sunday night. We still have all day tomorrow. We're leaving Tuesday. So I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And please comment if there's anything we're forgetting we need to know now. Um, or anything that you find helpful. So that is all from us. We are going to continue with this process. And we will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.